This is what head training does for you. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is. If you skip cardio. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Hey guys, it's Tomas here. And this is Jesse. Today on Bite Sketch Fitness, we're going to go over how you can do hit training on a treadmill. And this is for beginners. So it's not going to be too difficult, but you're still going to get a good hit training program out of it. All right, guys. So to start off, I'm going to be telling you guys how to cycle your hit training on a treadmill to do it easily and effectively. So the best way for a beginner to do hit training on a treadmill is to do one minute of sprinting and one minute of walking. So you're gonna walk at around three. If your treadmill does speeds of one, it goes up by one, you'll start with three. That's usually a moderate walking pace. And then the sprinting speed depends on you. So if you're able to run a mile in 10 minutes, your sprinting speed will be anywhere from six to eight. But if you're getting to that range where like you can do a mile in eight minutes, your sprinting when you're on for sprint should be from anywhere from nine to 12 because you want this to boost your heart rate up so much for a minute. And then when you're resting for that minute, you create a nice little oxygen deficit of where your body's trying to catch up to all the oxygen that it couldn't get into its body when it was sprinting. And that cycle, you're gonna do it five times in a row if you're a beginner. If it's really easy, up the speed, not too much. And if you wanna get more benefit out of it, you can do up to 10 repetitions in a row. So you'll do a 20 minute exercise because you'll do one off, one on, times 10. Then that should be really good for fat burn. And now Jeff is gonna talk about how this helps fat burn and how it's beneficial to add to your program. All right, guys, so the reason that this is so beneficial to burn fat is because you're doing little bursts, like uh, Tomas is saying. You spike it up, so you're spiking up your heart rate, and then you're coming back down, giving, it, giving your body to recover, giving that time for your body to recover, and then you spike it back up. And this, you utilize more carbohydrates, glucose, and your fat storages instead of the muscle storages. So if you plan on building muscle, this is best to just build that muscle and not touch any of that uh, muscle storages rather than those other storages. And this is also gonna help with recovery time. You do cardio, you start putting it in, you pump more blood to the muscles that need it. The only problem with HIIT training is usually you go a day on, a day off, day on, day off, because it's such an extreme exercise and you are really beating the body. yourself a lot. Your high exertion. There you go. You're beating the body up. You should give it that recovery time. And during that recovery time, you could go ahead and do weight training. Um, and if you become more advanced, then I would say to do it a little bit more often. But as always, kind of be con uh, conscious of what you're doing, making those conscious decisions on what exercise you're doing it with it or uh, how long you're doing it, so on and so forth. Yeah, because you don't want to overtrain. And it's easy to overtrain with this if you do it every day. So it's just cycle it like this. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. As always, if you are a new subscriber, go ahead and uh, subscribe. We'll give you a little moment to just subscribe. We have Tomas here. The link should be right below him. Like right bottom right here, bottom left. Yep, it should be right there. <laughs> All right. And if you like the video, go ahead and give us a like. And if you guys have any types of comments, go ahead and leave them. Uh, any oh, type please. of feedback. <laughs> said please you got to do it now no nah, i'm just kidding okay yeah any type of feedback is going to help us out um so if you know anybody that doesn't know how to do hit training if you just learned about it just now go ahead and share it and make other people knowledgeable about hit training and how to do it in on that treadmill on any treadmill actually <laughs> at any gym facility and as always thank you for watching we'll see you next time and 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 and